Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a little update. Uh, man, things have been rough. Keep getting my ass kicked over and over and over again. Yesterday was a decent day. I mean, I was still messed up, but my anxiety was a little lower, so I was able to do stuff. But last night was one of the most intense nights I've ever had. Right around 9 o'clock, 9.30, everything really went downhill. It was insane. I started getting so tired. And, it's, and if you know, in benzo withdrawal, tired is just a whole different story because when you're really tired, all your symptoms come out more. But I was so sick. I'm surprised I wasn't puking. But all my symptoms, every every symptom I've ever had during this so far, tomorrow will be three months off, came full force. With a couple new ones. Here, let me move this. It's getting a little uncomfortable. Move it over here. Anyway, so... The newest symptom I'm getting is a really, really just disgusting one. Now, with my insomnia issue, I get that weird wave that wakes me up when I'm about to nod off to sleep. So that keeps me up, you know, at least during the day, if I try to take a nap. I mean, at night I take Remeron, and that's a whole other story, but that bypasses that. But now, when I lay down... I almost fall asleep. Instead of just the energy going through me, I get this horrific warm feeling in my lungs. And it's a horrific taste of an old ashtray of smoke, cigarettes. <clears throat> it's absolutely disgusting. <clears throat> Getting woken up by the taste of a rotted ashtray. Oh, that's freaking fun. But last night, it was there most of the night it was just it's just disgusting now, I used to be a smoker but I quit a long time ago well not really I quit so many years ago but I started up again for a little bit after I got divorced and I moved and I started up about a little over five years ago for uh, for about six months but before that, I was probably I was probably quit for about almost ten years. And but I was raised in a smoke smoking home where they never even opened the windows, so I've always had cigarettes around. And uh, I don't know if it's related to my lungs getting back to normal, as I've been kind of told on Benzo buddies that it could be you know my lungs starting to get, you know trying to get back into action. I mean, I can only imagine, I mean, you're being a smoker f for so many years and living around it and being stuck in it, there's no way your lungs heal. I'm sure they're still tarred up, and that's possibly what I'm tasting. I don't know. It's weird, though. I think I'd have it all the time, but it's only, it's only in the moments when I'm about to fall asleep and get that weird energy and that taste. It's just gross. The last night was intense. Oh, I was so exhausted. It made me so exhausted. And I couldn't sleep. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway, so yesterday, you know, I had a full day. Since I felt a little bit better because I got that calcium test that came out great. The calcium, uh, whatever, cholesterol thing test, CT scan. And after that, my stress level went down, so I was able to do a few things. I just, you know, I wasn't, I didn't do much, but I went with my girlfriend to the pet store. And, uh, I had to go pick up her car and stuff, and went to the grocery store. Of course, I sat in the car, but, I mean, for me to be out that much in one day was ridiculous. So, there was a lot of stress, but 
It just doesn't seem like this came from stress last night. But two things that I did. One, when I stopped to get gas, I got a bag of Lay's dill pickle chips. Now they had they had a uh, glutamate. Let's see, they had something in it. It was it was uh, the name of an ingredient that often contains or produces processed free glutamate acid, and uh, mal maltodextrin w was in it. So that could have been an issue. But then again, I eat chips a lot, and I don't seem to get that bad of a reaction. But they were different, so who knows? Um. Yesterday we had, you know, Taco Tuesday, I had tacos, but this time, because usually I, I tend to have problems every Tuesday, because yeah? <laughs> of tacos, so there's something in it that bothers me, but it's never so bad that I stop eating tacos, but I do get, you know, it's bad enough for me to try to work around the ingredients so I don't feel like that, but, uh, so, got rid of the tortillas, which is the best part, but got rid of those and just used uh, the romaine lettuce which was fine but like I said last night was so brutal and so it could be the peppers I mean there's red pepper poblano that are bothering me I think sh I think we used adobo that might be uh, MSG I'm not sure I have to look but I haven't used it a few times and I still was affected so you know, it could be onions. I know there's a little mushroom, and I know that's not a good thing. But, I mean, literally, I don't eat much of that. So, onion, peppers, mushroom, sour cream, cilantro. I don't know, there's so many things. You know, it could be an issue. But, yeah, it was rough. It was a really bad, bad, bad night. Today, I feel horrible. The body's buzzing, and my head is. So, I can't. It it's always feels like it's pulling down. So where I'm like, you know, I always feel like I'm gonna go into a seizure anyway. But days like this, it's so much worse. Sometimes I think, you know, just go into the goddamn seizure. God. But obviously, I don't really wish that. But sometimes it's so intense. It's just like, okay, get it over with. I'll just go back on benzos. Man, I just hate thinking that way. And so it's benzo withdrawal is brutal. And for me to go from the first week being really bad and then rest of the month pretty intense and then to the second month not being that bad, even though I was still really sick, but I was still able to go out and work and stuff. And I was pretty proud of that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get through this without, you know, getting totally screwed up. Uh, here we are on coming up three months. And things have only declined and declined and declined. And now I get to taste cigarettes all the time and smell it. More taste. Uh, motivation starting to go and that's one thing I need I've always ha kind of had motivation through all this but now it's just like you know even doing this video I sit and think oh just turn off turn it off I'm just done motivation's brutal I need motivation we're moving at the end of the month across the damn country I just cannot wait to get that over with We've been prolonging this issue for so long because of my because of me being sick, being sick on the benzos and everything, and we've been here way too long. All I know is if we said we're gonna wait again, I just I'm just gonna be sicker then. Who knows? I don't want to be sicker and sicker. At least I'm still able to talk and walk, not well. You know, walking's a bitch, but at least I can you know get stuff done to a point. It's really not the move that stresses me out. No, what it's really a lot is I'm getting bombarded with medical debt. I have insurance through Obamacare, and it's been a joke. Nobody takes responsibility for anything. 
you know, the ER visits were supposed to be 100% covered. And then the ER decides to, you know, go through loopholes and say physician bills are separate versus the hospital and everything like that. And they won't cover it whatsoever. And then I tell the insurance, well, you know, you have it set as 100% covered and you're not doing it on your end. No, you call them. No, you call them. You call them. I think I fought fought for these bills months and I'm just done and now with my heart bills funny that was supposed to be covered too They're, they found loopholes and now I have a $2,000 bill for the heart monitor oh it's because it's a separate company and uh, they stopped taking my insurance at this specific date blah 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 it's such a joke They're such liars now I've got thousands and thousands of bill and bills, and I can barely work. And they don't care. You know, I worked really hard to get my credit decent. And it looks like I'm going to end up screwing it all up. Uh, that's not what I want. I don't want them trying to get their money. Sucks, man. Anyway, I'm going to try to get through today. Tomorrow will probably be a better day if I sleep tonight. But everything was so intense last night, and that really scares me because I sit and think last of last night. It's like, is that what is that what's coming? You know, is that, is that what's coming next month that I'm gonna have to deal with all the time? Is that that intense, all the time? If it is, it's non-functional. I just I don't I don't get it. All right, well, have a good day, guys, and uh, sorry as a downer. I'll probably make another video later, just try to be a little more upbeat, puts me in a better mood, but I really wish I could get out. Weather's so nice, and I'm just a mess going out. It's a joke. Well, have a good day, guys. We'll talk soon.